Hello everyone, this is Tosi from Team Aim for PG. Today's topic is knowing your shots better. Yes, we'll be dealing about COVID-19 vaccines for the next couple of minutes. By the end of the session, we will be cognizant regarding the f a few newer technological approaches to vaccinations such as the mRNA vaccines, the viral vector vaccines, and a few uh, vaccines, uh, COVID-19 va COVID vaccines which have been supplied in India and in various parts of the world, and a few much anticipated vaccines will be discussed. So, dealing a little bit on the term vaccination in general, Vaccines are immunobiological preparations that confer specific immunity against a given disease. The process of vaccination usually involves administrating by inoculation in general infectious agents modified to a point where they cannot cause a disease or a part of the infection agent as such. This allows the induction of a specific immune response and development of an immune memory to provide protection against the agent inoculated. The resultant is a protective immune response which leads to the prevention of the disease in the vaccinated host. Now, various methods of approach are available to attain a vaccination state, where among the traditional approaches are the killed and attenuated vaccination. Well, attenuating a pandemic strain has its own risks, right? Live attenuated COVID-19 vaccines are unlikely to progress due to difficulties in production and attenuating the virus. A protein tech can be applied where a pathogen's whole protein or a protein fragment are introduced to make the vaccine. Among the newer and novel approaches are the mRNA vaccines, the DNA vaccines, and the viral vector vaccines which have been successfully applied with COVID-19. So, coming on to mRNA vaccines, as we had said, mRNA vaccines are a group of genetic vaccines which deliver the genes of the pathogen right directly into the host cells. So, uh, basically, mRNA vaccines teach our cells how to produce a protein or even just a piece of the protein to trigger an immune response inside our own bodies. <laughs> Simulation battle where the antigen is produced indigenously, I say. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines give instructions to our cells to make a harmless piece of what is called the spike protein. The spike protein is found on the surface of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Initially, the spike protein uh, DNA sequence is identified through genome sequencing and mRNA templates are made. The mRNA is encapsulated in a lipid nanoparticle and the vaccine is produced. So firstly, uh, the mRNA vaccines are given in the, co in the uh, upper arm muscle. Once the instruction of the mRNA are inside the immune cells, the cells use them to make the protein, the spike protein. And after the protein is made, the cells break down the instruction and get rid of them. Basically, the mRNA is disposed of. Next, the cells display the protein piece on its surface and our immune response recognizes that the protein doesn't belong there and begins building an immune response and making antibodies. So the facts that you should know about COVID-19 mRNA vaccines is that they cannot give someone COVID-19. mRNA vaccines do not use a live virus and therefore cannot cause COVID-19. They do not affect or interact with our DNA in any way. mRNA vaccines never enter the nucleus of the cell where the DNA is kept. The cells break down and get rid of the mRNA as soon as it is finished using the instructions. Moving on to the viral vector vaccines. In the viral vector vaccines, the viruses carry the required genetic material into the host cells. Vectors are basically vehicles that induce genetic material from another virus into a cell. Virus vectors have the gene responsible for replication removed. Therefore, they no longer possess any threat of infection. Therefore, uh, scientists use vectors to transport genetic material from a different virus, especially the one we need vaccination against, into a human cell. That's the whole idea of being called a viral vector vaccine. Adenoviruses regularly cause acute respiratory infections. These viruses are most commonly employed to engineer vectors because they are considered extremely safe and easy to engineer. The gene from adenoviruses which causes the infection is removed while a gene with the code of a protein from another virus like the spike protein is inserted. The inserted element is safe for the body but still helps the immune system to react and produce antibodies which protects from the infection. 
So initially, the gene that codes for the COVID-19 spike protein is inserted into the virus's genetic material. There, the viral vectors are formed. Viral vectors are used in vaccine preparation and once when inoculated, the vector enters into the cells and uses the cell's own machinery to produce a spike protein. Next, the cell displays the spike protein on its surface and our immune system recognizes them and triggers an immune response uh, to produce antibodies and to activate other immune cells to fight off what they think is to be an infection. Briefing on uh, viral vector vaccines. Uh, viral vector vaccines use a modified version of a different virus to deliver important instruction to our cells. The benefit of viral vector vaccines, like all vaccines, is those vaccinated gain protection without ever having to risk the serious consequences of getting sick with COVID-19. So, moving on to Covaxin. Covaxin has been developed by Bharat Biotech in collaboration with ICMR and the NIV. It's an inactivated vaccine and has been developed using the whole virion inactivated viral cell tech. The vaccination regimen usually follows two doses, placed 28 days apart, although it has been extended to up to six weeks, and the route of administration is intramuscular. Now, inactivated vaccines do not replicate and are therefore unlikely to revert and cause pathological effects. They contain the dead virus incapable of infecting people but yet can instruct the immune system to mount a defensive reaction against an infection. Covaxin has demonstrated about, about up to 81% interim efficacy in preventing COVID-19 in those without prior infection after the second dose. Moving on to Covishield, Covishield is a non-replicating viral vector vaccine. It is a recombinant vaccine uh, with replication deficient chimpanzee adenovirus vector which encodes for the SARS-CoV-2 spike glycoprotein. It is produced in genetically modified HEC293 cells and is a genetically modified organism. The root is intramuscular and two separate doses are taken, 0.5 ml each. The second dose is likely to be scheduled between four to six weeks, although it has been uh, revised to extend up to eight weeks. The COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca, uh, or the other name for it, AZD-1222, is manufactured by the AstraZeneca Pharmaceuticals, and it's a recombinant vaccine which is similar to Covishield. In fact, AstraZeneca has two variants, one produced by the SD-Bio from Korea and the other from the Serum Institute of India. It showed about 63% effectivity in the clinical trials. The Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. The Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is also called as the BN2162 B2. It is manufactured by the Pfizer and the BioNTech, and the number of shots taken are two, 21 days apart and intramuscularly. Uh, the vaccine boasts 95% efficacy, and the age indicated is 16 years of age or older. So, talking a little bit about Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, also called as the mRNA-1273. Uh, it's manufactured by Moderna Tech, and the number of shots taken are again two, but 28 days apart. The route is intramuscular, and uh, the age indicated is, uh, indicated is 18 years or older. Coming to Johnson & Johnson's Janssen. The Janssen COVID-19 vaccine, also called as the JNJ78436735, is manufactured by Johnson & Johnson. The number of flaw shots are interestingly just one and it's given intramuscularly. The type of vaccine is that it's a viral vector vaccine and it's indicated uh, in ages 18 years and older. Talking a little bit about Sputnik V, which is being plunged into the orbit to defeat COVID-19 by the Russians. Uh, the research name given is Gamcovac, uh, COVIDVac. Uh, it has been manufactured by the Gamaliel Research Institute. The vaccine type is that uh, Sputnik V is a non-replicating viral vector. It is uh, administered intramuscularly uh, in two doses and boasts about 91.6% efficacy. What you need with Sputnik V is that uh, it employs two different set of adenoviral vectors. 
Although Sputnik V confers immunity against the spike protein, it employs two different set of adenoviral vectors. For example, the first dose has the adenovirus vector termed AD26. And the second dose, we have a different adenoviral vector, vax, uh, vector which is uh, termed as the AD5. What's unique with Sputnik V is that although it confers immunity against the spike protein, there are two different set of viral vectors employed for confirming immunity against the same protein. So basically, when the first uh, dose is administered, the adenoviral vector term as the AD26 carries the spike protein. And while administrating the second dose, the adenoviral vector is a different one which is not recognized by the body. It's termed as the AD5. So when an individual is vaccinated with the first dose, AD26 confers the immunity against this S protein. But when on re uh, repeating the vaccination, which is the second dose, which is done after 21 days, there's a different set of adenoviral vector, which is the AD5. Uh, the vaccine, therefore, is based on another adenoviral vector, which is unknown to the body and helps boost the immune response and provides for long-lasting immunity. Here is a pictorial representation of three sets of adenoviral vectors. The first is unique component vaccine with a single dose administration. And then there is a two component vaccine with a booster dose with the same vector. And then there is Sputnik V, which has a booster dose uh, or the second dose with some other uh, viral vector vaccine. And we can see how remarkable the secondary immune response gets. So here's a little bit about the much anticipated vaccines from India. The first one would be the uh, BBV-154. Uh, it is from Bharat Biotech and it's an intranasal vaccine. Theoretically, it is likely to prevent the infection and transmission of COVID-19 and is likely to prevent the disease. And then there's the Zyko-VD, which is from the Zytus. Uh, it is a plasma DNA vaccine uh, administered intramuscularly or intradermally. It's uh, proposed to be administered in three doses and it boasts to offer sustained immunity with longer antibody response. And so we have finally reached the end. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Tosi Sayed from the aim for pg team. For more content, you can log into www.aim4pg.com. Uh, and thank you.